Just give me all the pneumatic actuators you have. Wait, wait, uh, I'm worried what you heard me say was give me a lot of pneumatic actuators. What I said was give me all the pneumatic actuators you have. Guitar day. You ready to shred on, buddy? You know it. I've done all my warm-up exercises ready to rock. Guitar day is my favorite day of recording. I mean, next to the kazoo, the guitar is the most important thing. I mean, when was the last time you listened to a song and actually paid attention to the words? Psh, yeah, that's what I thought. I love your enthusiasm, Jack. Hey, do you know where Mark is? Psh, no clue, and I don't care. Can't believe he threw up the shades on me at the last show. And to my left, the world's greatest guitarist. Couldn't be here, but this is Jack Parker. Ever since Mark got this dumb wireless contraption, he thinks he's so much better than me. Guys, guys, we can't record guitars yet. I gotta redo my pedal board. What in the world, Mark? Your pedal board sounds fine. Nah, -uh, some people online convinced me to get some new gear. Who knew there were so many ways to improve your tone? Dude, tone is in the fingers, man. You don't need all that fancy gear. You keep telling yourself that, buddy. Keep telling yourself that. You have a major gas problem, dude. GAS stands for Gear Acquisition Syndrome. See, guitar players, they're always having to like buy and sell gear so that they can try and find this perfect tone. Drummers, we don't have that problem. Mark thinks if he buys expensive gear, he can have better tone than me. <laughs> like that's even possible. I eat fruity pebbles like him for breakfast every day. The guys can knock me all they want, but I'm the one who's living in the future. Hello. Wireless guitar. So Mark, explain to us again why you're going wireless. Isn't it obvious, Mr. Science Guy? If you're going through a wire, there's so much that can go wrong. But if you're going through the air, everything is crystal clear. What about interference? There's a lot of like radio waves floating around here in the air. Nah, that's just an old wives tale. All right, I'm done. Let's do this. What you got there, Jack? I am glad you asked. While Mark thinks he's jumping into the 21st century with this wireless guitar thing, I have actually one-upped him. Introducing the microwave. I believe it's pronounced with a soft M. So you bought the studio a microwave? Well, technically you're renting it from me, but that's not important. Let me explain to you what this thing does, because I know you're curious. You take frozen food, put it in, and in seconds you have like hot ready food. This is a miracle. Should we tell him? Watch this. Fire it up, BWAC. Time to show this track who's boss. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't mean to be critical, Mark, but I'm pretty sure that's not what a guitar is supposed to sound like. I don't know what's happening. I double-checked my wiring twice. That's what double-checked means. It means you checked it twice. I honestly have no idea what's wrong. Let, let me Google it. Dude, Jack, you're supposed to be in there working on guitar parts with Mark. I've got bigger and better things going on right now. Bigger and better than recording guitars on our album. Mark is all concerned with these beautiful guitar parts. I realized that Steve and I need to get the old metal band back together. It's been four years, you know. All right, so if you don't know, Jack and our robot drummer, Steve Threepio, have a post-apocalyptic metal band called Lambs of the Abyss. Honestly, it's pretty awesome, but they kind of disbanded after the 2012 apocalypse that Jack kept predicting turned out to be, well, we're all kind of still here, huh? 
Dude, you don't even realize the jam sesh I just had with Steve. Metal is past, present, future. Lambs is my A1 steak sauce, RN. Sure, dude. Just make sure to get your parts done on our record, and then you're free to do whatever you need to do with Steve. All right? Whoa, 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 whoa. All delays go through the effects loop. None of my amps have an effects loop. We're not in an 80s shredder band. You're not. Hey, Mark, did you get all your uh, wireless stuff figured out? Yeah, everything's been working pretty good. Jack and I have most of our guitar parts tracked, so yeah. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. Since the beginning, I've systematically replaced all of Mark's guitar parts. In fact, he hasn't even played on a single album. Hey! We're doing an interview here! Hey Mark, check this out. Hey Jack! I totally forgot how to use that fancy microwave machine. You think you could do me a favor and make me something tasty? Uno Hot Pocket, coming right up! All right, back to work. What? What in the world? My guitar was working fine all afternoon. It is the digital age. This wireless guitar should work. Mark, what are you yelling about? Did Jack, like, uh, delete and replay all your parts again? No. Wait, Jack's been deleting and replaying my parts? No idea what he's talking about! No, nah, be whack. Mark's guitar just keeps cutting in and out. You think it's time to get rid of that wireless rig? It's clearly buggy. No, no, it, it has to work. I need to roam free. I can't be chained. Okay, dude. Time to learn from the pro. Guitar. Straight into amp. Every knob on 11. Commence shredding. It does sound pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You can bet your life on it. Oh, my God.